Hello, whenever and wherever you're watching this from, I hope that this weather finds you well. It's not quite nine o'clock on Monday morning, and this is the third video that I am in the process of recording. As I'm speaking on my main computer, there's video editing software starting to record or to edit the first recording that I've made for Raffer Academy. There's another short video waiting to be put together for the joint services that we have with our neighbouring congregations this weekend. And there's this blether. Six months ago, I hadn't even a clue what video editing was. Six months ago, I hadn't a clue what all of this video technology was about. I was somebody who liked to stand in front of people and just blether and talk and preach. I've really appreciated being back in my churches the last three weeks, being able to do just that. But I recognise that there are many who still require an online presence. And I do like to do these online blethers. Six months ago, I didn't have the skills required. And I arguably still don't. My computer is fine for what I use it for. But for all this video editing software, my son who has all these fancy gizmos on his computer up the stairs, tells me that my computer doesn't have enough memory or RAM or something to do the work as quickly as it should be. So it takes a lot longer to put the videos together than probably other folk with proper computer equipment. That being said, needs must. It's a skill that I've had to learn to continue my work and to continue my ministry. We've all had to learn new things often because of circumstances during lockdown. One of the things that we are struggling most to learn is to have patience. Patience for this to be over. Like so many, I'm fed up now. I want to go and visit in-laws. I want to go and visit family. I want to go and do things, but because of restrictions, I'm not allowed to. And it is frustrating. And I feel for young people at universities not being able to have the life that they want at the moment. But then, Nobody is. We have to learn just to cope with the circumstances that we find ourselves in. For me, it's been putting things online. But then again, I know it's only a small proportion of my membership that actually see it online. But I can't do anything else. I do wish you well. I do hope that God will shine upon you and give you peace. Take care of yourself and take care of others. And thanks for watching. And now I'll go and try and make this look a wee bit better on my software later on.